Meet you back at the car. Yep. Ah, right where I left it. By the way, okay. You still down there? Yep, still here. Just checking. Here, give me your hand. I'm good, actually. Mm. Okay. Want me to drive? Nope. I oh, don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? Got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? Plus, I haven't seen any Hoy Salar exhibitions. I've never even heard of the Hoy Salar before this job. Yeah. Sorry, I need a moment. All right. And we were talking about... Oh, right. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. Young, reckless, flaunted his empire's wealth, built a new capital in the house of God, and then led the Persians right to their doorstep. <sighs> hey, look! Flamingo Convention! Give me a second. I can wait. See your way forward? Looking. Oh, oh. Refreshing. Oh. Could have warned me. Oh, where's the fun in that? So, quite nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Away from the city. Quieter. You come back here often? No. Not really. Oh, it's okay. Well, it's okay. down. Oh, look at this. Koisala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. The old capitals. What have we got? Halabadu and Balur. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm. Someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Balur. Well, the stonework is beautiful, but this isn't much of a defensive wall. Mm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? <clears throat> hey, <clears throat> is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. I'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan, unless you bought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. <laughs> right, that should Long do the brothers. trick. Fraser, move, it's an ambush. Shit. Thanks for the heads up!
We're clear. Right. Where were we? You were about to pull down an ancient gate. Yeah, I was. And there we go. You're awfully quiet. I'm just surprised is all. Figured you'd be more of a leave no trace type when it comes to Indian runes. Sentimentality in this line of work? Get you killed. They're just large flying rodents. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're closer to primates and lemurs. Okay, well, I'll look it up. Go, 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 go! Come on, come on. I've got some place to be. There we go. Spotted? Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We gotta take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. Like I planned.
This looks to be it. Shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Oh, it's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asab, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for a soft. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about it, you know. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. He's guys at the but a solvice. We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Saab. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How do you get tangled up with the Saab anyway? Purpose? I'd rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Look there. One of Asav's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. It should do the trick. Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Nice to be out of that shithole finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. It's Mm. 
That's it. We're clear. Probably alerted the others. Can't be helped. Come on. Okay. We're all clear. Won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over assault. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. What is it? A shrine? Don't think so. Don't see any deities hanging about. Let's find a way up. Follow me! Over here. We have company. Such Hang on. Watch it. Another one down. To secure. Yes, it is. Let's press on. Just what I was gonna say. Kind of mechanism. Here we go. Perfect. 
That should do it. Stand tight. Copy that. Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Okay, guess this isn't the way in. You are having fun. Here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient porcelain jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. I'm making a bow. Sharama. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysala Empire was kind of his thing. <sighs> Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Hmm. Made a real mess of it. But you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? That fort above the waterfalls might be worth a visit. And possibly that fort on that mountain. 
I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well. Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, this is open now. Copy that. All righty, let's roll. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side, Oh, there's a plus off? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. Wait, my Sov's boys are giving this place the once over. It's nothing if not thorough. alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always prefer the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. I think Asov's men have that side too. Once more, with gusto. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi meaning strike in their language.
Yep. Come on in. Water's fine. I mean, don't drink it. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah. Oh. God, a bit hard on the wrists. Keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <sighs> oh shit, statue moved again. <sighs> Careful. I don't like the looks of this. Coming. 
Watch out for the axe! Did I get you? No. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues, with two different symbols now. A star and rings. They're all Hoysala's sons. I like your descriptions better. Oh. Turns out getting walloped by an axe. Hey, you. Want to give it a shot? <laughs> Not paying me nearly enough. Ah! Near miss there. Yeah, this is right. of habit.
I did. Here we go. Guess this will be a picture of an X. Good guess. trickier. Nice to see you, Shiva. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. Two out of three now. Moss and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. Australia. Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face, just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. 
Let men like Kassav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Assad? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd stop with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of folks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. I have other things to attend to first. more cars over there, yeah? Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Ganesh, remover of obstacles. Not yet. I've got your back. Waiting on Cobra H. Let's just keep this quiet as long as we can. <laughs> Movement. Over there. Well, sh you should not have crossed us! How many are there? Several. There's one on the roof too, over there. What do they do? I don't know. But leave them alone until the boss arrives. Nice shot! Uh, 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 
That's a lot of them. You all right? Yeah. This looks promising. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. about you. That's two. Found you. <clears throat> Only one left. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. One trident coming up. Hell, that's not fair. Let's go. 
Dinesh. Hello, sir. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <laughs> Water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this old treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun. this time. You handed yourself on, all things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short, controlled <coughs> burst means. All right. And lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. anywhere else out there. Now's the time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, 
your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did he do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. Fraser? Want to climb it with me? I'll keep watch for Assault's forces. Right. Don't drive off, though. Don't take too long. This is crawling with rebels. I think we've lost them. She who fights and drives away lives to fight another day. Watch it. Mm -hmm. Get down, sniper! We're out of range now. Just a minor speed bump, with gunfire.
I'm just gonna take a look around. Keep an eye out. Thank you for your indulgence. I know. Here goes everything! There is no escape! Let's see what we've got here. In that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna take a look around. Do what you have to do. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. I'm just going to take a look around. All right. Bye for now. Yeah. Yeah. All done. Let's go. Yep. Shall we? Right behind you. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. 
Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Assassin. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm. Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo? <laughs> 